Hey guys, Tisa here back with a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your very own overhead health bar GUI. So first thing you want to do is insert a part into the workspace and add a billboard GUI to that part. We'll call this like health bar, health bar, and we want to make the size like 8,0,1.25,0. Uh, and then inside of this, we want a frame that is going to be of size 1,0,1,0. We could duplicate that frame and just drag it in there and we'll call this one fill. Uh, and we'll make this one's color to 0, 0,255, 0. And we'll make the parent frame's background color to 255, 0, 0. Uh, we'll also add a text label in here and this will also be 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, we could call this health amount. And we can to put text scale to true, sources sans, bold, text color to white. Uh, we can have a text stroke transparency of zero, and we can just make this say 100 out of 100 for now. We also want to change this to this billboard UI thing to always on top in the max distance to like 10. Um, and we want to add a background transparency of one on our text label. So we have we should have something looking like that right now. So now we can go into how about replicated storage and have a folder and we'll say like billboard UIs uh, and we can drag drag this health bar UI in there and we can delete that part now. So now inside of starter player in starter player scripts, what we want to do is insert a local script and get our services, which will be local players is equal to game colon get service players local rs is equal to game colon get service replicated storage we'll have our variables this would be local billboard uis it's equal to rs dot billboard uis and local health bar is equal to billboard uis dot health bar we'll also have a local player is equal to uh, players dot local player local character is equal to player dot character or player or player dot character added colon wait uh, here we will have a function and we'll call this local function update UI and basically in here what we're going to do is first get the frame uh and the all right so yeah so here first what we're going to do is get the um actually we have to first take in never mind so what we're going to do is we're going to get the ui and that's going to be equal to um character actually here we'll have a local head is equal to character colon wait for child head then here we'll have head colon find first child health bar say if ui then and what we want to do is ui dot frame so say local bet bg is going to be equal to ui dot frame we'll say local fill is equal to bg dot fill and our local label is equal to bg and our local label is equal to bg dot health amount all right so then in here what we want to do is set our fill colon tween uh tween size to udem2 dot new of whatever our all right so udem2 dot new our character or actually we'll also get our humanoid here is equal to character colon wait for child humanoid and here we'll say humanoid dot health divided by humanoid dot max health comma zero comma one comma zero and this will be enum dot enum dot easing direction dot in out or we'll just do out and enum dot easing style dot linear and then for the duration 
we'll just give it a small duration of like 0 0.1. Okay, and we also want to say our label.txt is equal to our humanoid.health is equal to our humanoid.health concatenated with a slash concatenated with our humanoid.max health. So this system will still work if you have like a max health of 200. All right, so let's go ahead and actually, before we test this out, we have to uh, call functions and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, we also need to local create UI, and this will be or local function create UI. And basically, what this is going to do is we're going to do local clone is equal to uh, health bar health bar colon clone we'll say clone dot parent is equal to head and yeah, clone dot parent is equal to head and I guess we can just do clone dot adorni is also equal to head and yeah that should work so if we call create UI here and then we say humanoid dot health dot or we'll say humanoid colon get property change signal health colon connect function and basically colon connect function and basically what we'll do in here actually we don't even need to connect the function we can just colon connect our update UI all right so now if we join the scheme See, right now we don't actually have anything. Uh, and if we go ahead in into our workspace, us and our head, see we have the health bar. It's just not showing up. Oh, wait, yes, it is. We just have to be closer. All right. Um, so basically, let's just change some properties while we're in studios. First of all, it doesn't need to be anywhere near that big, so let's change it to like five there, and like one, no, even less, like 0 0.75 maybe, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and then we want the studs, the studs offset to be like five, okay, to be like one, and you see now it's like right over our head, and we wanna still be able to see it when we're like this far away. So let's change the max distance to like 15, yeah, that's good. All right, so what we want to do is now right click and copy. And then here we want to delete that and control shift V that. All right, so now when we join this. As you see, we have our health bar here. And if I go into the workspace and to our player and humanoid, and I take some damage from myself, like I go to 50 health, see it tweens down to that 50 health and then now when it starts to regen which maybe it will maybe it won't because we did on the client so i don't think it will actually but if we go on the server into the workspace and to us humanoid and set the health to 50 then now you see it starts uh, regening with all that so we also in here what we should do is probably math dot round math dot round our humanoid dot health and that will just get rid of those decimals for us all right guys well that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel other than that guys i'll see you in the next one bye